welcome back to another video. Today I have another massive coloring book haul and flip through and a little bit of a review. These are all from Coloring Book Cafe. If you're not already familiar with Coloring Book Cafe, they have published so many coloring books. There's absolutely something for everyone. I recently did a video called my top five colored pencil tips for beginners. And in that video, I had featured one of the pages from the inside of this book. And so many of you went out and purchased this book right away. So I reached out to Coloring Book Cafe and they were willing to send me all of these books. Now I went through and looked at all of their books, watched some different flip throughs to see the images that were inside, and I picked the absolute best ones. And I tried to make sure most of them were new releases and something that most of you have not seen yet. So I'm excited to bring you this video. Let's go ahead and start taking a look at these coloring books. This is the first one I would like to share with you. This is the Beautiful Bird Houses coloring book that I shared with you in my most recent video. I'll make sure that video is uh, linked in the upper right hand corner so that you can easily find that if you want to go back and, and watch that. So this is an absolutely gorgeous book and I had showed you a couple of the pages from the inside in that video. It is really great for beginners and I will show you exactly why. First of all, in all of the coloring book cafe books, you will get these little squares of each of the pages if you just want to do a little bit of practicing. So I think that is really great, especially for those of you who are beginner colorists and you really want to practice your color combinations and things like that. And then here on the front cover, you're going to get a whole list of the birds that are featured inside the book. So if you wanted to, you could actually go on Google, look up the name of the bird, and then you can color that bird natural colors or what it would be if it were a realistic bird, which that is really, really neat. So on the inside of the cover of all of the books, they're gonna have their website where you can get the digital version if you would like to purchase that instead because you want to print on your own paper. But I just wanted to tell you a little bit about the books just before I started the flip through. And this one is a newer release. This one was just released on April 23rd. Now it is on the Amazon paper and I do like the Amazon paper and I colored on it for a very, very long time even before I ever started using my own paper. You can use markers on this paper if you want to. I would just suggest sliding something in through the back. The pages are all one-sided, which is really, really great, so you don't have to worry about damaging or messing up the coloring page that would have been on the back side. Let's go ahead and do the flip through and I'm going to set that portion of the video to music because I have lots of flip throughs to go through and one of these books is fairly thick and has like a hundred images inside of it.
I do want to talk a little bit about this book because what I love most about this book and why I think it is so great for beginners is the line art on the pages. If you look at this image here, you can see that it has, let me hold it up a little bit closer to the camera, but you can see that there are actually lines drawn in, like for instance right here on the birdhouse or the roof of the birdhouse and all through the birdhouse. And even on the birds, it has little lines that could be like part of their feathers. I use those lines when I'm coloring on these pages as a guide and it sort of just helps me to know where to lay my different colors. Like for instance, if I was coloring the actual birdhouse, and I, this is kind of hard to hold to the camera because <laughs> it's floppy, but if I was coloring the birdhouse up here, I would just look at these lines that are already um, here that the artist drew in, and I would use those as a guide, and I would put some of my highlight colors just in between them, and then I would put my darker shades around them, and then I would come back when I was all done laying down all my layers, and I would come back and blend and burnish those colors together, but not too much because I would still want to have a little bit of, of texture in what I would like to think is a wooden birdhouse. So that is why I really love this book and I really wanted this book to be able to show you all. That's why I wanted the hard copy. I just fell in love with this book. Here is another one that I really love and the reason I love this one is because it gives you a chance to be able to practice coloring skin and coloring hair. It also has a lot of flowers in it and those are all of my favorite things to color. So this is another one I really wanted to share with you. This one was released on March 25th, 2021. So it is also a fairly new release if you've not seen it yet. Like I said earlier, I wanted to make sure that when I pick and chose these books, there was a reason for each one. This one has a lot of really beautiful images in it, and we're going to go ahead and start the flip through now. Now what I didn't mention in the last flip through, I wanted to make you aware that there is a color chart, if you didn't already notice, in the back of every, every one of these books. And if you wanted to put your color combinations down here for each page, you can use it for that. You can just keep track of the colors you're using. You could use it really for whatever you want. And if you wanted to, you could even make copies of this page, put some holes in them, and keep them with your coloring page just so you could keep record of what you have colored and stick them in a binder or a notebook or whatever you keep your coloring or wherever you keep your coloring pages. And then in the back you get a couple just blank pages that you could use to test out your colors if you wanted to. 
That was Floral Beauty's coloring book. And for all of you that want to practice your skin and practice coloring hair and then still want to be able to color flowers at the same time, this is a fantastic book for you. So let's go ahead and take a look at the next coloring book. Here is another newer release. This one is the Forest Animals coloring book, and there are some adorable images in here. Of course, we're going to see when we flip through and get to take a look at this gorgeous book, but I'm not going to do too much as far as a review because this one is going to look just like the others where you are going to get the smaller versions. If you want to sort of test out some colors before you actually go to the page, you can do that. But that's what all of the first few pages are going to be in every single one of these coloring books. So let's go ahead and start the flip through. show you what I really really love about this coloring book for those of you that want to learn how to color animals if you look at their images again I love the artists that they use for their images because for instance if you look at this page here it may to you look a little bit cartoony in a way but you can make something that looks a little bit cartoony into something that looks very realistic. I know because I've done it before. <laughs> I've done it many times, but you can see that they put all the little lines in here to use as a guide so that you can figure out exactly where to place your texture and in what direction to place your texture for the fur on the animals. But I think that is really, really neat. Look at this adorable little guy here. But almost every single one of their pages are like that in this book too. And look at these adorable squirrels. That is so cute. But again, you can look at the tail and you could see in every which direction that you should be laying the strokes with your colored pencil. And then you would just come back and you would uh, blend the colors together and just use several different colors or several different values of the same color family and just combine them together making strokes in the directions of the little uh, lines here that are already drawn in for you and you can create something absolutely beautiful and that is what I love about their coloring books and I only very recently just discovered this and I'm just like okay well where have I been like I do videos and so many videos for beginners and I really was not that familiar with these coloring books until I just actually worked with coloring book cafe and had to color a few of their images. I was like, I really, really love these coloring books. I have to share these. And so that's why I'm bringing you all this video today. So let's go ahead and get into the next one. This book here is Big Eye Girls Coloring Book. I love this coloring book. When I saw this one and I saw the pages inside of it, I instantly emailed my contact at Coloring Book Cafe and I was like, I need that coloring book. <laughs> I love it so much and I wanted to share this one with you all so badly. This one was just released on April 24th, 
So it is one of their newer releases as well. And I love that I'm able to share all of these new release coloring books with you because there's so many coloring books that are new releases that so many of us do not know about. And when I was talking in my Facebook group about Coloring Book Cafe, so many people were like, what's that? What's that? What's that? And I've been on their email list for the longest time. And so I knew about their coloring books. I had just never purchased any of them. So I'm excited to have this opportunity, but let's go ahead and take a look. I don't want to go right to the flip through on this one because I just kind of want to talk about some of the pages in this one because it is adorable. But again, you get your title page. This book belongs to. And then here again, you get these images of the smaller sizes so you could test out some of your color combinations on the smaller images before you bring them to your coloring page. You could even print these out if you just wanted a really quick color and you wanted to print these on your own paper and make like just a little postcard image and color it in. That would be a great idea. If you wanted to use these to color in and use them for the front of a card, if you're a card maker, that would be another fantastic idea. My goodness, I'm just coming up with all the ideas here, aren't I? <laughs> I'm just, they just keep on coming, but I love how they put these little blocks of the pages in their books for every single image. I've not seen any other coloring book company that does that, so this was really impressive to me. Look at this adorable one with this girl and the horse. That is so pretty. And look at her with the telescope. I love the scenes in this book and how they do the girls. And I just really wanted to be able to practice coloring my skin without having the image on a full page where I had to practice skin. Given just the smaller portion since it's the whole body of the girl in these images. You only have to concentrate on coloring a smaller part of her face and her skin on the arms and what part of the legs would be exposed. Here she's wearing socks so you only have a very small amount of skin to color. But it really helps you to be able to practice on where to lay your shadows and your highlights and everything else. And I love that they have such big, beautiful eyes. What I could do with those eyes and then after you add the makeup to really just make them pop. And I also noticed on their images, the artist puts this little line here in the eyes. So let me bring this a little closer so y'all could see. But in all of the artwork, including the um, Floral Beauties book, you get those little lines in the eyes to where you could take your Posca pen and get really creative and really make those eyes just really pop out or maybe put your highlight in that area. I mean, really whatever you want to do, but I would take my Posca pen and I would put the little like sparkle in the eyes and make it look really, really neat with that little bit of detail. But look at some of these pictures in this book. Is this not the cutest thing ever? And you could practice coloring animals because you've got the little adorable bunnies here. Look at the cute little clip barrettes in her hair. How many of you remember uh, years ago when those clip barrettes were still so popular? I mean, they are now and you see them sometimes, but when I was younger, those were like the thing. <laughs> but I just, I don't know, I really just loved this book. When I saw some of the images in it and what it was about, it just really drew me in. And I just really wanted to be able to share this one. But you could practice coloring clothing. And oh my gosh, I just love their big eyes. Those of you that want to color cats, you've got a few little cats down here. And she's sitting at the table drinking her hot coffee or tea. And look at this one has animals too. And it's like a winter scene. That is so beautiful. You could practice your snow. Look how gorgeous. Oh, that dress. I would love to color that dress. And I thought I was going to set my flip throughs to music to get through this video. I know you guys love my longer videos, right? <laughs> oh, I do not know how to make short videos. So <laughs> there's that. <laughs> But I know that some of you sit and you listen to some of these videos sort of in the background while you're coloring and kind of watch them while you're coloring, but I don't know. I, I just, I love this book 
and I didn't want to have to set this one to music because I really just wanted it look at anyways let me finish my sentence <laughs> I really just wanted to be able to flip through this one and really just talk about the images in here and why I find this coloring book so appealing and also why I feel like it would be really great for beginners like a lot of their books are fantastic for beginners who want to just practice their skills and there are so many different books where you could practice so many different things so look how gorgeous this is look at the sunflower she's like in a little sunflower field she's got these adorable little like high cut shorts on a beautiful bow in her hair you could practice your coloring of braids and where to place the highlights in the braids of hair look how pretty but see I've talked to you so much that I'm already almost done with the flip through of this one but y'all this is just the most adorable book oh look at her freckles okay she has freckles on her shoulders <laughs> look at this freckles on her shoulders and her face and look at her earrings I would be pulling out my glitter for those earrings is that not the cutest wow 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 I love this book I really really love this book this is I don't know this might be my favorite Again, you had the color charts there in the back. So like I said, you have that in every one of the books, but I love the front page and the, um, the front cover and this artwork and all the colors. I don't know, everything about it. I just love this book, but I wanted to be able to share that one with you. Let's go ahead and get on to the next one. This book is Country Kitchen's Coloring Book. And this one is not too new. It was released in the middle of last year. It has a release date of May 28th, 2020. And the reason I chose this one is because I really want to start coloring more scenes and sort of like inside interiors. And I wanted to be able to bring you all some tutorials with some of those things. If you're interested in seeing that, let me know in the comments below because that was my plan for this book and why I really wanted this one. And my other reason was because I wanted to have a variety of all of their different coloring books to show you all that they have something for absolutely everyone. On Amazon, this book already has 631 ratings and it stands at five stars. So that says something. <laughs> but again, you've got these four little images on the front of every single um, image or scene in the book. And I'm going to go ahead and set this one to music. And in the next few books I have, we're going to skip over the first four. And we're just going to get right into the images of this book. Country Kitchens, and oh my gosh, I just love the images in here. Like I said earlier, again, another book that really just, the artist really just uh, creates the texture for you, and you've got all these guides. Like, look at these cutting boards here, and look at all the lines in these coloring books that you can just color around, and you know exactly where to put your darkest shadowing color to create some texture in there. I just love that about these coloring books, and... 
yeah, there are so many like that. And it's just wonderful to have that as a guide when you're coloring. So that is Country Kitchens. This is the Beautiful Gardens Coloring Book. And this one was just released on February 11th, uh, 2021. So this is a newer release as well. And we are going to go ahead and get into the flip through. beautiful gardens and there are some beautiful images in this one as well as I was flipping through I noticed butterflies we've got this tin can for you to practice I actually did a video on my channel where I colored a tin can in a Maria Trolley book and showed you exactly how to create texture on a tin can it's actually one of my most popular videos I'll link that in the upper right hand corner for you if you've not yet seen that but it was a really great tutorial, and I think everybody should probably watch that one, especially if you're a beginner. But there's just lots of really cute images in here. You've got butterflies, you have outdoor scenes with flowers, and we've got another house with some birds. So there's just some really great things in there to color. So this one is 100 Countryside Scenes. And there are a hundred images in this book. <laughs> I also wanted to let you know, if you all follow Coloring Book Cafe, when they do first release their coloring books, you can get these coloring books for only $3.99. So I think it's like during the first week or something like that. But that's a really fantastic deal. You could really build up your collection and then just get some of the Spring Hill paper that I suggest if you don't want to color in your books. I don't know, like... For me lately, it's gotten to where I want to keep my books in a collection and not color inside the books anymore. It doesn't even so much have anything to do with the paper anymore. I just want to keep all of my coloring pages uh, secure in a binder and just all together in one place, no matter what book they came from. And then if you are keeping track of the colors on your coloring pages, like with the color chart in the back of these books, you can put that with your coloring pages and sort of just keep everything together. So there's another great idea for y'all, but this one is 100 Countryside Scenes, and this is a number one bestseller on Amazon. So I wanted to make sure that I got this one just to show y'all some more scenes, but there's some really cute pictures in this book, and I'm gonna go ahead and flip through this and set it to music since there are so many.
100 Countryside Scenes Coloring Book. Again, there were a lot of really pretty images in there. So many different things for you to practice on. There's trees. You've got a cat here and some more animals, a mama pig and baby pigs. And so there are lots of animals. This would be a great picture or a great um, image to be able to color for Halloween possibly. But there is a little bit of everything in here. Look how pretty that one is. I even saw a picnic scene somewhere in this book. Oh gosh, that is gorgeous. I would color that table white and put lots of shadows or like shininess on the chairs. Oh my gosh, every time, I, I love when I can just look at an image in a coloring book and just already imagine what it's gonna look like once it's colored in or like instantly come up with ideas. That's how you know when that is the page that you wanna color. When you can look at a page and you can instantly already get ideas for what you want it to look like when it's done, that is the page that you want to focus on coloring. I know a lot of you sometimes flip through books and you're just like, oh, I can't find an image, I don't know what to color, I don't know what to color, but you just flip through all of your books and when you find something that just sort of starts, you know, giving you ideas of what you want it to look like when it is all done and completed or you're getting ideas of how you want to color a certain something, that is the page that you just want to open up, pull out your pencils and just start coloring. But again, this is one of the only books, I guess because it has so many images inside, but it's one of the only ones that doesn't have the smaller little boxes of the images within the book. I hope you enjoyed this huge coloring book haul and review and flip through and I hope that you were able to find something out of these coloring books that you really, really liked. Let me know in the comments which one you liked the most and what you're going to order. And if you check the description box, you will find links for all of these coloring books so that you can easily find them. For some reason when I went on Amazon and I tried to search for the beautiful birdhouses book, it would not right away come up for me and I really had to do a thorough search to be able to find it and actually go to their page for it to pull up. I'm going to have to let them know about that because that just doesn't seem right. But I hope you all enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Happy coloring. Bye.